percentages down, not only their field goal, but their three-point shooting. Prince misses his first attempt. Quickly down the other end, Butler released. And Karan Butler with the first points. Now, the other night, couple of seasons in San Antonio, he's bounced around. He is a complete different player than Ben Wallace. And as Antoine Jameson has been struggling. I think he's, he's the toughest person for me to guard in the league. I used to say it was Iverson. But um, I think Gilbert is now because he shoots the three a lot deeper. And he's just as fast as, like, those little guys, um, Iverson and Tony Parker and those guys. And he's, he's very explosive getting to the basket, um, finishing up and around and above the basket. Um, good mid-range game. You know he's going to be aggressive to score the ball all night. You know, he keeps pressure on you that way. Down, it's the little things. Transition defense, getting back first before anybody on the opposition front line, and then helping out the penetration off the dribble. And an occasional goaltend. Is. But then when you think head-to-head, -head, Karan Butler last year in three games averaged 30 points against Detroit. Now Arenas with the jumper. Gilbert Arenas comes into tonight. McDice lost it. Wizards with the numbers. Ron Butler and a foul. Woods went for the block, which he does so well in trans. You like to give the give the ball up early, force the defender to commit, and in that time. But some weird stats, you they get to the line, the free throw line a lot, but they still tend to settle for the jumpers. There's a Obviously, one of the tops in the NBA is taking six. The news about Shaquille O'Neal out with the knee problems. Injuries always early in the side. Will they operate inside or will they stay outside and force a jump shot? Shot clock down to four, so they're going to force a tough shot. And Arenas can hit the tough shot. Are you trying to contradict what I just said? <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention in transition defense. Arenas with a hand in his face, puts it in. When they get hot, just have patience. Just don't force the issue. They will allow you to get back in it. They spread the floor. Arenas gets around Prince. Hard drive. And Arenas will go to the line. It's all right to be switching outside as long as you do not get a forward. Oh, most of them, a lot of them he knows already. But he tries to a little friendly. This naturally didn't go a long way in a close coffin in the set. Hamilton kicks it out. Prince, a wide open three pointer. Here come the Wizards. Butler. Oh, nice oh. pass. Marinas with the pass ahead and Drum. Butler, a pretty play. Uh, but that really has not happened tonight, Mike, where they got down 14 to 16. They haven't had to. Yeah. That's right. Arenas, nice move. Arenas, who was scoreless in the third quarter, now pulls him with an eight. Now, that's why we say about streaks. They're only down eight. Here they are. They're free on the other. But Hunter is doing a good job pressuring on the ball when it's at the top of the circle. See, they, they continue to miss the cutters who are going through the middle of the lane that are open. It's a matter of teams, two teams that can score the ball. They have a couple of Heisman Trophy guys in this. Excellent middle linebackers. So it should be a very exciting goal to his team. Just take high percentage shots. Arenas, and there's a foul. Wallace is second. It's what he likes to do ball, and he says especially at the free throw line. And you see the Wizards almost 35 attempts a game. Well, we just you got to do. You got to wear this out until they double team. And Arenas the rebound. Wizards still hanging in there. Hayes puts it in, rattles in a two-pointer, and it's a five-point game. What do you tell your big guys to do in this? Situation?